out my whole heart. I can't do it. It was honest, y'all, but everything was honest, my display. It was honest, y'all, but. Hey guys, so I'm about to record a video on my labor and delivery. And I don't remember a lot of stuff, so I'm gonna use this paper. I wrote a little bit of things down that I remember. But I'm gonna get started with labor and delivery. So my due date was on February 27th, and I was so like over being pregnant. I felt fat, I was ugly, like, well, other people said I don't look ugly, but I felt ugly. Um, so, I went to the doctor, I was rushing for my due date to come, and I was just basically telling her, like, I'm just tired of being pregnant, like, really tired. So, she gave me an induction date, but she kept telling me the baby's gonna come, when the baby's gonna come. So she gave me an induction date and my induction date was on March 6th. So March 6th came and I was supposed to go there at 7 o'clock. So I wanted to go a little earlier because I was so anxious to go there. So I went at like 6.30, 6 o'clock. We went in there. They had me waiting for like two hours. No, if it was like three hours for real. And... They were basically telling me, well, they sent me into the room. I don't know what that room is called, but the room where you go into before labor. So they hooked me up to the monitors. They seen if I was dilated. I think I was like one centimeter dilated or none at all. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't remember. So I was sitting in the room and then the doctors came in. And mind you, I was waiting for so long. So the doctors came in and I think they did an ultrasound. I'm not sure. I think they did an ultrasound. They, the doctor told me that something about placenta previa. And she, he said that I had placenta previa. I think I'm saying it right. So that means placenta, how have you said it? Placenta previa. That means when your placenta is covering your, um, your cervix, meaning that the head can't come out when you push. So they basically was preparing me for a C-section, but I cried. I was like, oh my God, I don't want a C-section. I don't want a C-section. So he said that he was going to see what he was, what he could do if it was, if it was like, um, really urgent to do the C-section. They had me waiting in the room. Mind you, I didn't eat since maybe five o'clock. I didn't eat anything since five o'clock. So I was really hungry. And so we were sitting in the room and they basically came in and they and they told me that they had to send my ultrasound up to the big boss <laughs> to see if I really had placenta previa. So I had to stay there at night. So March 6th now is going into March 7th. They sent me in another room. They unhooked me from the monitors. They did put the, I think that's called the catheter, whatever you call that, that they put in your arm. I had that in my arm, but they took everything out so I could sleep for the night. I slept for the night and I think the next morning around, let's say like 10 o'clock in the morning. So I was, I called the doctor and I'm like, oh, so when are you going to tell me if I'm going to get a C-section or not? Like, am I going to get the C-section? Because I didn't really want it. But so it was a lot of doctors came in. It was two female doctors, two male doctors. They look like students. So two female doctors, two male doctors, and it was like one head doctor. You could tell that he was like the boss, you know. <laughs> and he he was basically explaining to me that I didn't have placenta previa. So I'm already anxious to get induced. And they told me that I had placenta previa, which is making me even more scared. So I was really scared. And I was crying. I was very emotional. Um, so he basically told me I didn't have it. So he had my ultrasound. He showed me that my placenta was, I think it was like up here. But they were saying that my placenta was like down here. But it was really up there. So that's March 7th. Actually put me into labor at... 11 a.m. so they basically said oh you're not getting a c-section so i was so happy they said that you're not getting a c-section so i was so prepared so they was getting ready for me to go to the delivery room so being though that i had to get induced they put a pill inside of me the every four hours every six or eight i don't know i'm not sure but they they had to put it inside of me every four six eight hours i don't know i'm gonna put it in 
in here. I don't know. First pill in, inside of me at 11:15, and I didn't really, I didn't really feel anything at that at that time. So me, I'm like, oh my god, my baby, da, da, da. and so they didn't, they didn't, nothing really happened. I didn't really feel that. I just felt little cramps, like period cramps. That's it. So the doctor came in. Um, and she asked me did I feel anything but I, re I really don't remember anything that really happened in the delivery room because it really got intense because when she's put that second pill inside of me girl <laughs> I really wanted to go back in time because that is ridiculous it hurts so they put the second pill inside of me and then that's when labor got started and it was really painful that's that's what i remember it was like really 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 painful yeah well I, I just know it hurt like i just kept screaming i kept waking up and i just didn't want to be bothered so my mother and the doctors would kept telling me to breathe they they gave me an oxygen mask and it was just too painful so when the doc when people tell you to breathe you really don't during labor you really don't think about breathing you don't you don't really think twice about it it's just like you're in so much pain you just want to hold it in like you just want to hold it all in. like just want to hold all it that in. happened i don't really remember everything was moving quickly to me everything was just like happened quickly to me so um it, it was a lot of doctors coming in and out of my room so you know when a lot of doctors come in and out of, out of your room you, you you start getting curious like why you know so it was a lot of doctors coming in and out of my room and i knew something was going wrong and it was making me really sad they said i don't i think that my baby's heartbeat was going down or he wasn't breathing or something like that so they were trying to make him breathe so what they did was they put a catheter on top of the baby's head or they put something on top of the baby's head to see if um he was breathing whatever so i only got up to four centimeters and the doctors rushed in the room saying that i had to get a c-section so even though the placenta previa didn't get me the c-section i got i ended up getting a c-section anyway so I should have prepared my mind for it and I should have, instead of waiting a whole day, I could have just got my C-section and got it over with. So everything was like moving so quickly. Everything was moving really, really, really quickly. And all I remember is the doctors coming in and they saying, oh, you got to get a C-section. My mother started packing up all my stuff. My mother, my sister, and his father started packing up everything and they sent me into another room and i was just like crying because when they told me i had to get a c-section i was so i was really i really, was really 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 heartbroken because for my first pregnancy i did not expect to get a c-section they took me into the room it literally happened so fast like everything happened so fast so they hooked me up to everything they put the little thing in front of my face and I don't know, they drug me up. I don't know what type of drugs they gave me, but they really drug me up because his father came in, but they were pulling the baby out. All I all I have to feel is like pressure, like put them pushing pressure right here, like pushing, 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 pushing. So they pushing pressure, 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 pushing. And that's all I felt. So I'm like, oh my goodness. I was like asking him like, oh, where's like, where's his father? Where's his father? Whatever like that. So they was like, oh, he's right there. So I looked over. I'm like, oh my gosh. Like I didn't even know who he was. Like I was so drugged up. I didn't even know who he was. So I was just like looking over and I was like, what the f Like, um, and I didn't really know who he was. So they had me laid out with my arms like this. And they was just like pushing, 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 pushing. Two seconds. That's when the baby came out. And he screamed so loud. And when I heard him scream, that was like a relief. Like, because he stopped breathing. Like, that was the best thing. Like, as soon as he came out. You know how some, when some babies, they come out and they gotta like beat them to cry or whatever. And as soon as he came out, he, he was crying. And he was so fat. 
he was really really fat so i forgot to say that my water broke my water actually broke at 12 48 and when my water broke i didn't even feel it like my my the doctor came in my legs was open and she was like your water just broke i said for real and i was like i don't feel anything i don't feel anything so when my water broke i really didn't feel anything when they took me up there and the baby came out or whatever i guess they were cleaning him in the back and then it was just like stitching me back up i didn't feel anything like you don't feel anything i thought the pain was going to be much worse um having a c-section than having it vaginally but i really didn't feel anything so they were stitching me up and one thing one negative thing that i felt having a c-section is when it was done stitching me up it took it felt like it took like an hour for them to stitch me up like it felt like so long and when it was really it was probably literally like 10 minutes but it felt like so long and so after they did the c-section they took me up back to the room that i was in where i was gonna actually deliver and push but i don't like i i don't know if i mentioned it only got up to four centimeters but they took me back upstairs but i was upset because they didn't bring the baby to me they didn't bring put the baby on me i never said i didn't want the baby to be put on me so um when i went back upstairs i asked the nurse i was like um <sighs> when I'm going to be able to see my son. She was like, oh, you didn't see him yet? No, I did not see him yet. So, mind you, like, a whole hour and 30 minutes or maybe an hour went by. I didn't see him. I didn't touch him, nothing. So, she's like, oh, you didn't see him. So, that's when they brought him down. He was so chunky. My baby was so chunky. So when he came to me, they put they put him on my boob. He latched on, like, so perfectly. Anything else? So, he baby Takari was born at 1.41 in the morning. And he was 9 pounds, 1 ounce. I was so surprised that he was 9 pounds. When they said he was 9 pounds, I said, what? Because I was originally 114 pounds before post-pregnancy. And, um... I got up to 159 or 160 or something like that. I know I was wearing a size 10 jeans. <laughs> so yeah, after that, they I stayed in the room for a little while. They got the room ready for me. And I was basically in the hospital for, I think like 10 days because my blood pressure kept going up and down. Um, I was getting cold. I was getting really, really cold. And, but it was like hot. Like my temperature was hot, but I was really cold. They had to put, they had to put covers over me, like the warm covers over me. Like, and they had to monitor me for like 10 days. I was in the hospital for 10 days. I had to go. Like I was in there for way, way, way too long. Um, and yes, I'm breastfeeding. So if you guys want to ask me any questions about breastfeeding and I'll make a video about that but that's basically my labor and delivery story it was it was a journey and I don't think I'm gonna have any more kids after that but I know everybody say that but after that it was just like too much for my first pregnancy and and I didn't expect to go through none of that but a c-section it's not really that bad but now I'm gonna show you guys like the way my stomach look right now um i'm three months postpartum i didn't really want to make a video um before because i didn't really feel like myself i was so fat and ugly like i felt ugly so i didn't want to make any videos or anything like that so i feel a little bit my camera died sorry so i feel like i was saying i feel a little bit like myself so i'm gonna show you guys my stomach um like I said, I'm three months postpartum, baby three months. He just turned three months. My stomach is still a little bit, I'm still a little fat. And my incision is like right there. Like right there, you see it. 
Okay, got a little stretch mark. So yeah, that's it. Um, thanks for watching. And like I said, if you want, if you have any questions about breastfeeding, I'm gonna make a video about that. And if you have any more questions about this video, and I will add that to my breastfeeding video. And thanks for watching. Bye.